Africa is a continent with over 1.3 billion people and over 3,000 ethnic groups, making it one of the most diverse continents in the world. With such diversity, it's no surprise that African culture is rich and varied. And in this video, we'll explore some of the many cultural traditions found across the continent. Hello everyone and welcome to Alikia Africa TV on YouTube. Today, we are going to talk about the rich and diverse culture of Africa. Africa is a continent with 54 countries, each with its unique customs, languages, music, art, and traditions. From the Berbers of North Africa to the Zulus of South Africa, Africa is a continent that is steeped in history and culture. Let's take a closer look at some of the diverse aspects of African culture. Number 1. African Art African art is an expression of African culture that reflects the people's creativity, history, and identity. African art is incredibly diverse, with different regions and cultures producing a wide range of styles and mediums. Some of the most well-known forms of African art include sculpture, masks, textiles, pottery, and beadwork. One of the unique aspects of African art is its diversity of styles and techniques. For example, the abstract forms of West African sculpture are very different from the more realistic, lifelike depictions found in East African art. Similarly, the intricate patterns and bold colors of African textiles are distinct from the geometric designs found in African pottery. Another aspect of African art that is worth noting is its deep connection to spirituality and ritual. Finally, it is important to acknowledge the impact of colonialism and globalization on African art. European colonization and the slave trade led to the displacement and forced migration of many African peoples, resulting in the loss of traditional artistic practices and the adoption of new techniques and materials. Today, many contemporary African artists are blending traditional techniques and styles with modern materials and influences, creating a vibrant and dynamic artistic landscape. Number 2. African Music and Dance Africans love dancing and music is part of their daily life. African music and dance are integral parts of African culture, and they are deeply rooted in the continent's history, traditions, and beliefs. African music and dance reflect the diversity of African cultures, and they play an important role in expressing cultural identity and celebrating important events. Another important cultural aspect of African music and dance is their role in expressing cultural identity. Different types of music and dance are associated with different ethnic groups or regions, and they serve as a way of expressing pride in one's community. African music and dance are also used to celebrate important events and social occasions. Many traditional African instruments, such as the djembe, kora, and mbira, are handmade using traditional techniques that have been passed down from one generation to the next. African music and dance reflect the diversity of African cultures. African dance steps are very original and can express the joy or pain that African ancestors have experienced throughout history. Number 3. African Cuisine African cuisine is a diverse and rich culinary tradition that reflects the continent's history, culture, and geography. It is characterized by a wide range of ingredients, cooking techniques, spices, and flavors. African traditional dishes are often associated with specific ethnic groups or regions. In Africa, most dishes are made with vegetables as meat is expensive. The African cuisine uses local and seasonal ingredients. In Africa, people naturally eat organic food and it is cheaper than in Europe or America. This reflects the agricultural practices and ecological diversity of the continent. Many African dishes are prepared using traditional cooking methods such as grilling, roasting, steaming, and stewing. In several African countries, people use communal cooking practices, such as cooking in large pots or sharing food from a single plate. In African cultures, food is seen as a gift from the land and wasting food is not something that African people do. However, sharing food is very common and it is seen as a way of bringing people together and promoting community and family bonds. 
Number 4. African Markets African markets are vibrant and dynamic places that are deeply rooted in the continent's rich cultural heritage. These markets are not just places to buy and sell goods but also serve as community centers where people come together to socialize and exchange ideas. The diverse cultures of Africa are reflected in the markets, which are often bustling with colorful stalls and lively music. Many of the vendors are skilled artisans who sell handmade goods, such as pottery, textiles, and jewelry, that are unique to their particular region. Additionally, African markets are also known for their delicious street food, which is an important part of the local culinary tradition. Visiting an Africa market is a fascinating way to experience the richness and diversity of African culture. Number 5. African Storytelling One of the most enduring traditions in African culture is the art of storytelling. For centuries, stories have been passed down from generation to generation through the oral tradition. The necessity of storytelling in Africa goes beyond entertainment, as it plays a significant role in preserving history and passing down cultural values. In traditional African societies, elders would gather children around a fire and tell them stories. Stories were used to teach children about their community but also to teach them moral lessons and to promote good behavior. For example, the story of the hare and the tortoise is a popular African folktale that teaches the importance of perseverance and hard work. Storytelling in Africa helped to build a sense of community and solidarity, as people shared their experiences and learned from one another. Today, storytelling still remains an important part of African literature and culture. African writers continue to draw on traditional storytelling techniques to create novels, poems, and plays that reflect the diversity and richness of African culture. Number 6. African Traditional Wedding Weddings are a time of great celebration in African culture, with each ethnic group having its own unique customs and traditions. African traditional weddings vary from one culture to another, but they all share some common features. For example, many African weddings involve the exchange of gifts and the payment of a dowry. The groom's family must provide a certain number of cows or goats to the bride's family to show appreciation for their daughter. In other cultures, the bride's family must pay a dowry to the groom's family. In some African countries, the bride is adorned with intricate henna designs. While in others, the bride may wear a gel or head wrap while the groom wears a dashiki or traditional robe. Number 7. African Textiles African textiles are rich in cultural significance and are an important part of African heritage. Textiles have been used in Africa for centuries to convey meaning, symbolism, and identity. Nowadays, African textiles, such as dashiki and wax are used by the most famous fashion designers. African textiles are often used to convey messages about the wearer's social status, tribe, or cultural affiliation. Different patterns, colors, and motifs are associated with specific ethnic groups or regions, and these designs can convey a wide range of meanings and emotions. The colors used in textiles can also convey different meanings. For instance, red is often associated with power, passion, and strength while blue is associated with peace, harmony and spirituality. Many African textiles are hand-woven or hand-dyed using traditional techniques that have been passed down from one generation to the next. This process involves a high level of skill and expertise, and it can take several months to produce a single textile. Overall, African textiles are a testament to the richness and diversity of African culture. In conclusion, the diversity of African culture is something that needs to be celebrated and embraced. It is a testament to the resilience and richness of the African people. So, let's take a moment to appreciate the diversity of African culture and learn from it. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Alikia Africa TV. See you in the next video.